Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are in the world, wherever you are in the universe. This is Swifty, the ineffectual gamer. And this is F1, my team, my career. Uh, what do we call this team? Simtech. Simtech lives. Simtech continues. Hello, welcome in. Now you'll notice it says live there, but this isn't a live stream today. Uh, and the reason it's not a live stream is because for me it's the end of the season. Now I've only actually shown two races in the live streams, and that isn't how the in that isn't the intention of of this series. Uh, this series is actually intentionally to show more races and more things going on. But um, because of life things, I've kind of been play I've had to play off the stream. I've not been able to get streams out, and I haven't even had enough time, unfortunately. to put some videos together that is changing going forward it, it is going to have it is going to have more videos because I'm not working as much now and I've got a bit more free time but I wanted to make this short video or well, maybe it'll be 10 10 15 minutes or something just to show where the team is now at the end of the season and go through some of the things at the end of the season so first thing I'm going to go through is the standings you'll see I'm really surprised I have 45 points and that actually puts Schumacher Simtek in 7th position ahead of Alpha Tauri and Alpha Romeo. Now, I'm going to just break a couple of things down here. I'll show you the season results. I, I, um, I was hoping at the beginning of the season I might get enough points to be level or ahead of Alpha Romeo. To be ahead of Alpha Tauri feels a bit too much. But I'll show you where these results lay. Okay, so we're going to go to the season results here. And if you look at Michael Schumacher down the list, I'm going to actually bring myself as close to the top as possible, just so we can um, we can put it in, in into uh, perspective. So we had a ten point finishing. Uh, we got had a tenth place position in China, which won us a point. That was a very hard fought victory. Uh, well, I say victory, a very hard fought point. Um, but it was a good one and it felt it felt correct it, it it really did now i'm going to touch on a couple of these here because there's some of them where i don't know i don't know how to feel about it then if you look over to austria now this is a the shocking one three a third place finish yeah i got on the podium and i was really sad that i couldn't have a video or anything for that but it was what it was i didn't expect it it did come out of conditions um, the race had variable conditions and I made pit stops just at the right time no DRS so people weren't quite able to keep up with me and I was harvesting fuel and then using fuel uh, they just couldn't catch up to me and it was a battle to the end with Leclerc I think I can't remember I think it was Leclerc and um, and anyway I came up I came out on top and got a third position that felt like a really hard fought one and then we went to England or to Great Britain sorry in Hungary and you know standard 16th 17th position you know you'll see if you look at the Netherlands I got 14th position some of these were because people dropped out some of them were just lucky pit stops but they weren't getting me any points and my general position was 16th 16th 17th at a push um, then in Hungary we got 17th position Belgium got surprise in 11th position Position. Again, that was to do with pit stop strategy, if I remember. Just managed to, just managed to get the pit in at the correct time, and it made some positions up. Uh, Italy, really surprising one. Third position again. That, again, was because of conditions. Uh, but I am going to be totally honest and say that in Italy, I was defending third position from about eighth. There was a train of cars behind me and I was really aggressively blocking and I look back at it now and I'm like, no, I should have finished probably sixth. Uh, that felt like a, th a sneak thief third. Um, I would have definitely been penalised uh, by the FIA or by the stewards had that been a real, ra a real race. So things went back to normal in Singapore. Russia got a legitimately high position, felt good about that. Again, that was pit stop strategy. Um... Japan, terrible, managed to finish 16th. Again, bit of a battle, bit of a ding dong. Maybe bent the rules a little bit, but um, you know, I was fighting for my life. So, uh, USA, 15th position. Actually, that was a pretty good finish because the rest of the weekend was a washout. The practice periods and everything were a washout. Mexico, 7th position. That was again, I was driving a bit on edge. I was legitimately in the position, but I was. You know, the cars were spread out behind me. I'd have only finished in 8th if I hadn't pushed it in that one. Brazil, legitimate 6th. Conditions um, meant that we had to change tyres. 
uh, mid race and I got up into sixth and I was actually faster than most drivers on the intermediates. I think there was only Charles Leclerc was faster than me uh, on intermediates and I managed to get a sixth position there which was legitimate. And then United Arab Emirates complete not a washout finished in 18th uh, terrible finish uh, but you'll see Jack Aitken as well he's generally finished 21st 20th he's been down the uh, down the order a little bit so um, yeah so monetary wise you can see we stand at 8.78 million that's because all our facilities have been upgraded to spec one minimum apart from the simulator which we will invest in at a later time so aerodynamic chassis powertrain durability marketing and personnel all invested in now how i'm going to do this is i do have a, 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 a ones which I go after first so for for example if you look at aerodynamics there I will always upgrade quality control first then resource point generation then build time and then fabrication I must do them in that order and I can't do for example a uh, level two if another if another area for example the chassis is a level one I'm I'm trying to keep it as level as possible and this year depending on the drive market we'll see in a moment I will invest in the personal uh, personnel stuff and that will have to come before I can upgrade anything else. Okay, just a quick look at the R&D structure. Gonna tell you now, we had some FIA changes in the rules, so um, I've had to spend a lot of stuff protecting these parts. Okay, so I've protected most of these parts. The only one I'm worried about is this one that's in development. I accidentally clicked on it without thinking, and I've realized that we might lose that part due to uh, FIA regulations but we'll have to see about that uh, so basically I stopped working even on the chassis because of that so the chassis it's better than Williams but it's not that far behind our durability is pretty good uh, aerodynamics uh, we've got some work coming in on that we've got this piece coming which is streamlined suspension arms uh, that's still in development but that should uh, give us a bit of a boost but that's coming in and then uh, also I've invested in the MG uh, no sorry the ECU um, and I've invested in that in order to try and make our engine just a little bit better so that's the that's the situation we are it is end of season and as you can see it's contract renewal time and jack unfortunately is not going to be staying with us okay because now is the time now is the time to bring mick over to the team because mick uh, we, we need to develop him at some point we could bring these guys in because i've all got pretty high claim but uh it's not it's going to be mick mick's going to work alongside his dad and he's going to be uh, our biggest thing. So we're going to approach him. And I think we can probably, because he's free market, I think we can go medium risk. I think we could actually even push it to high risk. I should really go low risk because he's my son. Uh, but we'll go low risk sometime in the future. I'm absolutely sure, but you know how life is. It's probably going to tell me no. Oh no, we got him. And I think we got him simply because he's on the driver's market and he hasn't got a drive. I think you have to be, if somebody's got a drive and the team's better than you, you've got to push it a little bit more. So, fingers crossed, Mick is going to be our driver for the foreseeable future. Uh, I don't see anybody else uh, coming in there. So I'm just going to set these last bits up here. Obviously going for team stuff where we can. We're going to work a bit on the powertrain there for the, for the two-day uh, split we've got. Um... For, yeah, I think I'm just going to go with the eSports event. It's only for me, I think. Uh, it only gives me something, but uh, let me just check the R&D. Maybe if we can invest in durability, maybe. I don't think we can, though. I think that's the problem. Uh, no, we can't. Okay. So, yeah, we'll go with this uh, second driver PR filming. Uh, maybe, no, I might go with that. I think that gives me the... Uh, <laughs> the thing. I don't think it goes to the second driver. But anyway, uh, with Mick signing, we might as well do a second driver PR filming because he's going to be coming He's going to be coming to the team. So we're going to actually in this episode, we're going to go in halfway in, well partly into next season. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it. So I'm going to advance time here. So we've got powertrain upgrade, marketing strategy conference done. It's the last day of the contract. And we lost. We haven't secured a driver for our second seat yet. We have. It's really important you negotiate terms with someone quickly or else our reserve driver will take over. And look, they're cheap for a reason, you know? We have got a driver, you idiot. 
I don't want to get somebody else. Okay, let's go back. Okay. And we have an interview, so that'll be interesting. So I'm glad that part failed in the R&D, to be honest, because I didn't know if we could protect it anyway. So if we'd have lost it altogether, we'd have built it again. Now we can actually uh, do a protection build, I think, if we've got the points. No, we haven't got the points. We'll, we'll have to see if we can do a protection build. Uh, that's unfortunate. Okay, let's go to the press interview and see what that comes up with. President of you with Will Buxton. Thanks so much for the invitation to your HQ. Let's have a little chat about the team's performance this season. Isn't it safe to say you focused heavily on driver development? Um, absolutely not, Will. I think you need to do your homework. Uh, you're a bad interviewer because I have invested nothing in my second driver because he wasn't long term. So why we're sitting here, I don't know. It seems like a waste of time. Uh, so I'm going to put no more than other teams because. I can't lie. You seem to be stuck in the mid-tier at the moment. Are you happy here, or will you be aiming to challenge the top teams in the near future? Well, I'll answer that one very easily, Will. Who the hell do you think you are with a comment like that? I'm not stuck in the middle tier. We haven't even got there yet. So uh, it's going to be a long process. You can't go from rookie to legend without passing through the mid-tier. We have to do it. So, again, research, son. Would it be safe to say that in terms of team orders, your career comes first in your team absolutely not will uh, i resent that remark completely uh there's no team orders here in this team and i don't know if i'm gonna let you back in this factory do you see your relationship with your second driver being long term or will you be looking for someone else if you're successful well now we're actually going to invest in our staff thanks for the good question for once by the way because most of them have been dogs uh so yeah we'll invest in our staff here so as long as they put in the effort we're going to support them all the way would it be safe to say that in terms of team orders your career comes first in your team well will i think we're going over old ground here you've just mentioned that before and i told you to get stuffed so uh, there's no team orders your ears need flushing out or something. Well, it's been wonderful to spend some Get time with you. Best of luck out on track. Right, okay, so... Yeah, so sometimes the interviews can be daft, like that. As you can see, so, well, you just have to deal with it. Part and parcel of this game. Um, they, haven't f they haven't connected some things and thought it through properly. But, good interview. Um... Yeah, let's move on. So, weekly running costs, we're going to get that money in. Cha-ching! And second driver, PR, fil uh, PR filming. Okay, so we've got 569. I still don't think that's enough to uh, save that part. I think we're going to lose it, unfortunately. I think we're going to lose it. We'll see next season if it's in place. I doubt it is. We're going to... I'm actually going to commence into the next season, and there's a reason for it here. Okay. So I am going to finish the season as it says. We're going to go into the next season and we're going to um, put the money to good work. Okay, and there's a reason why I'm doing it this way. Okay, so we're up to 15 in the team acclaim, which is fantastic. So look at this. We've got 12.5 million as a prize payout and we've got 7 odd million from our uh, sponsor which is going to give us 27 million to work with next season which is outstanding because along with the primary the new primary sponsor we could be looking at nearly 40 million which means that we can really start uh, in investing more in the factory now we've got a lot of cash sitting around we doing certainly nothing. have son we should start investing that in facility improvements so team details that's team details okay yeah so let's have a look we're gonna see if we want to change sponsor I don't know if I want to change team sponsor at the moment we are a mid base team so like this earn 300 constructor championship points in a season I mean that's really it's the chance of that coming is second to none so let's just try See, here's one with Pacifico. Earn 25 Constructor Championship points in a season. 
617k weekly income. That's all right. But this one, how much is that with uh, Pacific Ore? 13.64. Then we've got this one. Achieve five, oh, five podium finishes. No, that's not going to work. Uh, here's actually a very good one. It's a little bit less money, but much more achievable. Earn five constructor points championships uh, points in a season with Shark. And I actually really think that is... Um, I think that is really achievable. Ah, but this is a better one. Tristar. Yes, the money's slightly less, but more in income than Shark per week. And the goal bonus is higher, and we only need to achieve two points finishes during a season. That is very doable. So let me just check. Uh, yeah, I think Tristar might be our... Yep, Tristar is going to be our new main sponsor. We're going to stick with Honda. Yep, mental as that sounds. I think we're going to stick with them anyway. Let me just check. Performance is at 90. Durability is 77, which isn't great. Um, we might have to take some points. But yeah, I think we're going to stick with Honda. Um, and obviously Mick Schumacher is our secondary driver. So we're going to go into that. Now, this is why. Because the livery select. We're going to have a new livery for this season. And the team colours are also going to change. Shock horror. The team colours are going to change. But you're going to see that all in the next episode. Okay, so we're going to go 22 races. Uh, yeah, okay. I'll change everything uh, as I see fit as I go forward there. So, uh, so yeah, that's it. The car is under wraps because you haven't seen the new car. This is one of the reasons why I didn't want to. I didn't want you to see me doing the livery and stuff. So, uh, I'm just probably now gonna sign out of the game anyway. And then the next time we come back, I'm gonna make one change and then I'm gonna sign out. And then the next time, it could be tomorrow actually, tomorrow morning. Um, I will uh, European Standard Time. I'll do a stream beginning of the season. We might run the Australian Grand Prix if we can. Uh, I've got some I've got some things that I've got to do tomorrow, but uh, I think I've got some time to do it. So that is it. That's the end of the season. That's the rundown for the end of the season, and hopefully uh, things will get better uh, next season. We're going to see how things get on, and we might even have a new splash screen for the stream because I want to make one with the new car and everything. So I want to go into photo mode and, and mess about. Uh, with that so I want to thank everybody for joining in and if you feel like uh, pressing that subscribe button press that subscribe button and I will see you tomorrow for the new season see you later alligators